and we are coming through with a second video for you folks. We're gonna this is gonna be the new format here, and this is the that is an ass, and that is a hole in the ground section now spliced as we're moving up in the world and working our butts off to make sure this channel's good. Now keep in mind, every single time we try to do anything on YouTube, the software gets changed practically every day. And it, it, the amount of our time that it wastes, you would be astounded if we gave you any insight into that. So please support the channel via Patreon. Open up your dust-filled, cobweb-covered wallet and send us some cash via Patreon so we can continue to make these videos and do things like rail on big tech who can't break the internet, but the internet can break it. That means you, Google, and YouTube, and Facebook, and Twitter, and Apple and all the other big tech companies that are trying to do stuff like censor people and trying to break the internet and try to impose their political will onto elections. Let's talk about zombies. Companies like Facebook, Google, Apple, YouTube, and Twitter are zombie organizations. The end is nigh for you companies, especially if you don't clean up your act. Now, our regular viewers may know who David Dubine is of Adapt 2030. And uh, he's got a message, and it's to get your stuff together. Now, that's not a quote from him. That's just an animation that I made. Shout out David Dubine. Now, in our last video, we talked about how Elon Musk wants to nuke Mars and terraform it because he's full of inane, childish ideas about space exploration. I guess he's in denial about cosmic ray flux at a time of a solar minimum, the dumbest possible time to go to Mars. Let's talk about Trump saving Black Friday from himself. He's delayed tariffs so that they won't go into effect until after Black Friday. It might seem like a great idea. Well, it's a dumb idea because it involves tariffs. So in any case, we'll leave links to this article from Lehigh Valley Live, one of our local online news sources. Those 10% tariffs are going to do nothing but hurt the consumer as Trump clings to the idea that a tariff is going to be paid by China when tariffs are paid by U.S. importers and those costs are passed on to you, the consumer. Let's talk about Tom Wolf, who's signed an executive order with dozens of initiatives about curbing gun violence. We'll leave links to this vague article also from WFMZ. I'm not sure if they know what's in the executive order or not, but it's got all kinds of stuff in there, and he wants, if, if we wait for the federal level for something to happen, it won't happen anytime soon. In other words, he's doing the typical thing and going, oh no, oh no, it's an emergency, our hair's on fire, let's do something before our voters are like even more concerned. I, I don't know. It's uh. Not sure what the effects are going to be of Governor Wolf's executive order, but I have a feeling they will be unconstitutional in nature. Were you aware that Google is a scam and not a verb? Let's talk about chronic wasting disease. Well, we got a new map, and we've seen it happening in Canada now. The zombie deer disease, famously talked about on Joe Rogan. It seems to be widely not understood. And there's the map as we've got it in 26 states in the U.S. as well as now in Canada. Now, chronic wasting disease is very similar to Creutzfeldt-Jakob syndrome, otherwise known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy or mad cow disease. Very similar to that. Prion diseases are some of the scariest diseases in the world. And the more sophisticated the brains of the, of the afflicted are, the longer the, uh, the amount of time until symptoms are shown. So chronic wasting disease is super scary. It seems to be somehow related to things like factory farming, although we're not exactly sure. Now, it hasn't jumped over to humans yet, but there could be a really long period of time until uh, symptoms are shown. So we'll leave links to the Zero Hedge article also. Bad news for those who are hunting chronic wasting disease. Now let's talk about crop losses. If you're not familiar with it, check out IceAgeFarmer.com map. 
as Mr. Westbrook has been documenting crop losses all around the world. And you may not be aware of how bad it is, but there's an actual, there's an article in the Chicago, Chicago Tribune, which we're not going to show. We're not going to link to it, but if you look it up, the title is, At the Illinois State Fair, Farmers Celebrate Ag, But Bemoan a Nightmare of a Year. Because we see crop losses all around the world, folks. As food prices rise, Australia becomes a net importer of grains. Not a good sign. And the worst possible time to impose tariffs would be right now. Let me read you some excerpts from the eyewitness of reports from the Chicago Tribune article. Bad weather, trade uncertainties, volatile prices, paired with the high cost of land, equipment, fertilizer. So the government doesn't stop spending. Money keeps getting printed. Inflation keeps increasing. Crops keep getting lost. The worst year that anybody remembers in 50 years of farming, Caroline Bartz of 70 years old, never remembers seeing a year like this. Things like suicides have risen. Most farmers have a second job right now, so they're super busy. They're not able to report on anything because they're just trying to achieve this thing known as basic survival, as we are on this channel as well. So uh, there's going to be a smaller yield this year, and food prices are going to continue to rise for about a year at the least. Let's hope for a better year next year, as flooding has destroyed all kinds of farms. And tons of things didn't get planted this year. Tons of things are going to have reduced yields. Farmers with reduced yield crops are hoping for higher prices. And, hey, that's going to happen, but that's going to affect you, the consumer. So be prepared, folks. China is now sourcing soybeans from Brazil because of U.S. tariffs. So the tariffs are hurting not only importers, but also exporters, as China has decided to just not import anything agricultural in nature from the U.S. So thanks, Smash Team, for tuning in. We are out of here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And uh, please share on your social media as our channel is constantly evolving. And you should, too. Evolve or die, folks. So thanks again, Smash Team. We will be doing live streams again sometime soon. So look for that. Please press the notification bell as we put up community posts regularly and share cutting-edge stuff with our viewers. So best wishes, enjoy your Sunday, and we will be back soon. So don't forget to tune in. Tune in, turn on, look at the sun.